What's up, witches and warlocks? Puma Fist here. The Lazy Tuesday rant, geopolitics edition. <laughs> so, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I uh, guess, man, the news is all about this uh, shit going on with Palestine and uh, Israel, huh? Hmm. It's almost kind of like it's a distraction. <laughs> they're making it look like they're gearing up for World War III, right? A bunch of these uh, Middle Eastern countries are all banding together, um, basically vowing to help Palestine overthrow Israel and destroy it. Um, that would be awesome if it were true, but uh, I don't know. I don't think warfare is the same as it used to be. With the advent of the computer, I mean, that's pretty much changed everything. Everything now is a digital warfare. Whether it's through propaganda, through videos being shared by people, uh, financial, financially, uh, you know, transferring money or blocking money from being transferred, that's like the real warfare, right? Uh, smearing somebody's character, you can you can assassinate. So death without assassination, right? You can do that on the internet. You can completely ruin somebody through uh, public opinion. So I think that's the way wars are actually going to be fought now. And uh, not with ground troops. Um, you know, there'll be squabbles and skirmishes, but like full-on wars like we've seen, you know, that last several years, and it's uh, large countries with massive uh, uh, invasions going on. Um, yeah, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it happening like that anymore. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe this is the spark of World War III. I mean, it's been long enough, right? Isn't it something like every 80 years, they say there's like a big war? So, I mean, we're, we're at that point. Uh, so, you know, hey, if, if history does repeat, I guess maybe we are looking at World War III. But if it's not actually World War III, you got to ask yourself this. What are they distracting us from? <laughs> wow, there's so much shit to distract us from. Trump, a Biden... Uh, Epstein, COVID, <laughs> I mean, election fraud, corruption, uh, the, the Ukraine. God, there are so many distractions, right? And so many things that, uh, that keep happening and so many things that they're trying to keep us distracted from. Uh, you know, it's what is the attention span of the average person? Uh, I think for a new cycle, it's like what? What do they say? It's like like four days. For the most part, um, if, if somebody's not getting an everyday dose of something, they'll forget it after four days. <laughs> so, so they just, uh, you know, hey, one distraction after the other. And it's all covering up shit. It's all about the cover up. We're going to get schizo here. I know what the cover up is, right? I know what it is. And I'll just leave it at this the Palestinians are doing something about it. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Oh, God. Uh, still on this topic. Jesus Christ. Uh, I see uh, uh, <laughs> the porn star Mia Khalifa. <laughs> Damn, she's fucking cute, too. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Um, <laughs> she just got canceled for supporting Palestine. Uh, <laughs> and I think she's from Lebanon. So, I mean, it, it makes fucking sense. You know, uh, <laughs> but damn it, now they're going after porn stars. <laughs> How do you cancel a porn star? I mean, like, seriously, like I, some some company said, like, consider yourself fired because of her tweets about Palestine. And uh, <laughs> and and she fired back at him and said, you know, basically, fuck you. But what can you do to somebody like that? All she's going to do is just go, like, jump on OnlyFans. <laughs> so, should probably make more money that way, especially now that uh, now that people that are in the know are considering her based. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be kind of a backfire. Oh, oh, Rashida Tlaib and fucking uh, uh, AOC and uh, and what's her name? Fucking Bulbhead. I, why can't I fucking re remember her goddamn name? Oh God. The fucking Somali bitch who's fucking her brother. Anyway, I got, I cannot fucking remember her goddamn name. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> their fucking comments about this shit is fucking hilarious too, and they're taking a bunch of heat. It's funny, you know, like the the squad or whatever the fuck they used to call them. Uh, some of the worst shit that ever happened to politics, but right now I'm finding it very entertaining. So, uh, <laughs> oh, Ilion Omar, that's right. God damn it. I hate getting old, folks. You forget shit. You fucking forget shit. It's crazy. Yeah, so the squad now is actually really fucking entertaining. Uh, watching them uh, uh, fucking, you know, openly decrying fucking Israel and stuff like that. <laughs> Oh, man, you can't make this shit up. You can't fucking make it up, folks. It's pretty fucking funny. Pretty fucking funny. Anyway, I'm going to keep this one short. That's basically all I got. It's the only thing that's getting pumped into my fucking brain right now is all this crap. But, uh, yeah, make a, make a list for yourselves. What do you think they're distracting us from with all this shit? What are they distracting us from? Yeah, you can tell it in the comment section. All right. Puma fist out. <laughs>